So I'm Eric Fru. I'm a professor in the Aerospace Engineering Sciences Department. I'm also the faculty director of the Autonomous Systems Interdisciplinary Research Team. My research is in autonomous systems with an emphasis on unmanned aircraft. Well, one of the reasons why I ended up at CU is because CU had the one job description that I would have written for myself. When I was looking for positions, they were the only university at the time, so this was 14 years ago, hiring someone who did unmanned aircraft. So CU and the Aero Department was really ahead of the curve at that point. Um, so again, if I had to write a job description, that would have been the description. Bigger picture though, what I like about CU is all the government labs that are here, all the national labs. We do a lot of atmospheric science work where we're in the field with the end user scientists and having NCAR and NOAA nearby gives us so many different types of missions to go on with different collaborators. My research is focused on making an autonomous airborne scientist. So my research focuses on the autonomy or the um, decision making for unmanned aircraft with a big emphasis on using drones in severe weather. We want to understand how tornadoes form. And in order to do that, we need to get measurements in the storms to improve the forecast. And so a large part of my research is building the unmanned systems and the autonomy to have the drone be the scientist. So it talks to models, it talks to operators, it looks at sensor data and will go to the right spots in the storm to improve the forecasts of a tornado. So my research really straddles that line between theory and application. I believe very strongly, and it's part of my core philosophy, that there is research in how to take things out of the lab and into practice. So I tell every one of my PhD students, you are not getting your degree until you have an experiment that flies in the field. We do a lot of work developing algorithms, developing software in the lab, but it's always implemented on actual unmanned aircraft and it's always flown what we call in the field, in Tornado Alley, in the Arctic, in the environment where you know, real science, real missions are being conducted.